Brother John Torres here in the friary. Uh, I'm on a little break, but why don't we just go do a little jamming here in our music room, uh, show you just some songs and just kind of what music is over here for me at the friary. So here we are uh, here in the music room at the friary here. Uh, so we have actually a pretty nice collection of guitars. Some of these, or most of these have been here longer than I've been uh, in the community, but I laid out just a few of them. Uh, here, this is a special guitar uh, in particular because this was given to us as a gift, kind of a um, goodbye token from our uh, former producer here, Ryan McGahey. So he was our uh, director here at Life on the Rock. So on his last day here, he gave this guitar to the mm -hmm. Friar. So it's a special guitar um, that I have. Just wanted you to see it, just that, that we have over here. Then we also have a, um, a Fender Stratocast here. Um, I do play it. I, um, on this guitar, I tend to like to play any kind of Johnny Cash metal, me, uh, medley uh, on here. It's not a Fender Telecaster, but it's, yeah, it's good enough over here at the Friar. Um, but this is the guitar I use probably the most, about mm, maybe, I don't know, 80, 90 percent of whenever I play music is going to be from this uh, guy right over here. Um, it's not a full-size body guitar, um, but it's a good one. It's, a, it's kind of a fiber, I don't know, fiberglass. Uh, it's very light, it's very durable, um, very manageable. Um, I like it, it just has a really good uh, sound here. So uh, this is kind of my go-to guitar anytime I come in here and play. I usually like to play behind the piano. Uh, the piano kind of helps me pick out any tunes as needed. Uh, so sometimes I'm kind of doing both at the same time. Um, but I started playing the guitar when I was 14 years old, um, kind of at the time my oldest brother uh, was also getting into it. Um, and he just showed me a few chords, basically D, A, G, and maybe an E minor in there. Um, and so that was kind of where it started for me, was after, and he also showed me how to read tabs um, when I was about 14 years old. Um, and one of the first songs I learned was Bad Moon Rising by Cle Creedence Clearwater Revival. One day at the home, I just heard my dad playing that on his stereo. And that made me really, I always remember him playing that, and I always made me want to learn to play the guitar. Um, so I'll just play a little right here with the Bad Moon Rising, just kind of how I learned it. Then over the years, I've just kind of Kind of listened and looked at other how other people play, but um, I guess the way I now play is a little bit different. Kind of an abbreviated version of. Uh, Bad Moon Rising. Uh, another person that was a big influence on my life uh, playing the guitar was my grandfather, uh, Alan Pratka. Uh, so early on, whenever I was learning the guitar, I only basically knew just a few chords here and there. Um, but I really struggled with the C chord and the F chord. And um, now that today it's not much, but back then whenever I was learning, that was a big jump to get those uh, chords down. So whenever I'd go to his house, he had a big binder and he had all these old country songs, a lot of Hank Williams uh, and stuff like that, maybe early Eddie Arnold. And uh, so we'd be in his back office and we'd strum for hours and uh, he would play the song all the way through and uh, he'd always tell me, now don't go too fast, so he liked it kind of slow. Um, but he really helped me playing uh, some of these chords that I really struggled with. and. Um, but his favorite song was You Are My Sunshine, and that's the song I love to play on the guitar. I love to finger pick it. I think it's just a fun song. So let me pick it out for you real quick.
is. You are my sunshine. So the reason why I like playing the guitar, why it's important to me, um, one fire prior put it pretty well <laughs> is that it's like therapy. It just kind of relaxes you. Um, it's just something I enjoy. Uh, there's a creativity about it um, and also an expression that goes with it. Um, there's just some songs that are just, I don't know, soft, and then there's others that may have some attitude <laughs> to it. Um, but to me, it's also a way to relieve stress and just when you start kind of wailing on a guitar, uh, there, it's just kind of a way to whatever is kind of built up in you, you just kind of take it out on the instrument. Not that you're like banging it or anything, but uh, I think there's something about uh, music that does that. And I think also country music captures almost every emotion or mood that we kind of get through. So that's something that uh, I, I, I particularly like country music um, uh, in general. So, um, but also something I always kind of think about is, you know, is secular music good? Or bad. I also think it kind of depends on the individual. Um, so whenever I was growing up, I listened to almost anything, uh, anything that, and for me, it was anything that had a good guitar in it. As I was learning, I really appreciated just guitarists, no matter what kind of genre they were playing. Um, but I always kind of was able to learn something uh, from someone. Um, but I think you know, I think obviously there's some songs that are just really bad. Uh, but others, I think a lot are just kind of neutral too. Um, and so for me, I, I guess, I mean, it affects everybody differently. Um, uh, but for me, uh, I started playing, you know, uh, early on it was a lot of rock uh, for me. Um, so just some real heavy stuff. Um, but I think as a, you know, and I appreciate all the guys that taught me guitar and all that. It's, it's always been a, I just love to jam, and um, and my biggest dream would just be to just be a backstage musician and all that. Uh, so for me, I have a real appreciation for just any kind of musical talent, uh, and I just kind of like to see how people just kind of move around on the fretboard uh, in particular. So uh, it really doesn't matter what genre a person's playing. I just, for me, I'm always kind of locked in on the fingers of where they're going, and I always kind of seem to learn something. Um, but kind of early on, uh, whenever I was going through confirmation, I actually learned this on my confirmation retreat, and it was just a little picking exercise. Uh, a friend of mine taught me, uh, just kind of whenever we had free time, but uh, this was a song that just really easy to play. It was just something that kind of helped me with alternate picking, so. There it is, <laughs> the old picking batting. Well, thanks for watching Inside the Friary here. So like us, subscribe, share, comment. We wanna hear from you. So God bless you. Mm -hmm.